There's been a total of 18 four home run games in MLB history. And perhaps the most unlikely one was achieved by Scooter Jeanette on June 6, 2017. Jeanette wasn't a bad player by any means, but he was hardly anyone's first choice to achieve such a feat. He hit 87 home runs in his career, was a one-time All-Star in 2018, and only had three other multi-home run games where he hit two in each. Drafted in the 16th round by the Milwaukee Brewers in 2009, He'd go on to play four seasons with the team before being picked up by his hometown Cincinnati Reds in 2017. Prior to his big game, Jeanette was batting 270, 308, 450 on the season. He had only hit three home runs in 46 games, and his last one was hit all the way back on April 11th, nearly two months prior. On June 6th, his season took an unlikely turn though, and his name was etched in the history books forever. The Reds were entering Game 2 of a four-game set against the Cardinals in Cincinnati. Neither team was doing great at the time as the Reds were 26-30 and, and the Cardinals were 26-29. and 29. The pitching matchup for the day was Tim Adelman versus Adam Wainwright. This was a pretty good matchup for Jeanette as he mashed against righties in 2017. And although Wainwright was coming into the game with a 3.79 ERA, he'd been pretty inconsistent so far, with some really rough starts early in the season. The top of the first goes by quickly as Adelman induces a ground out and a pop fly prior to Steven Piscotty hitting a single and being thrown out at second. Cincinnati comes up to bat, and after a couple of ground outs, a single, and a hit by pitch on Suarez, Jeanette comes to the plate for the first time in the game. After taking the first pitch, he hits a bloop single to drive in Billy Hamilton. After a few uneventful half innings, it comes to the bottom of the third, and three out of the first four Reds batters have reached base. Jeanette comes to the plate for the second time, and this time with the bases loaded. He gets into a battle with Wainwright, and on the seventh pitch of the at-bat, he punishes him on a sinker that catches too much of the plate. His first home run of the game is a grand slam to right center that breaks the game open for the Reds. Skipping ahead to the bottom of the fourth, Wainwright is in trouble again as he loads the bases for Suarez, who promptly clears them with a triple, knocking Wainwright out of the game. John Gant, another righty pitcher, replaces him on the mound and faces Jeanette as his first batter. He takes it to a full count for the second time in a row, and Gant places a slow fastball right over the center of the plate. Jeanette makes no mistake and hits a 419-foot bomb to center field for his second home run of the game. After another few uneventful half innings, it comes to the bottom of the sixth with Gant still in the game for the cards. Jeanette steps to the plate with the bases empty to face him for the second time. After a first pitch strike, he takes three straight balls to get into a 3-1 count. Taking advantage of that count, he launches a high four-seamer to opposite field for his third home run of the game. Up to this point, Jeanette has driven in eight of the Reds' 11 runs and is a three-run shot away from a home run cycle. Entering the bottom of the eighth, John Brebbia comes in to replace Gant on the mound, another right-handed pitcher for Jeanette. With one man on, he comes to the plate for the fifth and final time. Unlike his other at-bats, Brebbia gets ahead of him quickly and Jeanette finds himself in an 0-2 hole. He takes an aggressive swing on a high four-seamer and it pays off as he clears the outfield wall. Jeanette, the first red ever, with four home runs in a game! And with that, Jeanette completes the 17th ever four home run game in MLB history. He had hit more home runs in one game than in the 46 leading up to it. When asked about his achievement, Jeanette summed up the moment perfectly. For a guy like him to do it, it's maybe a little bit short of a miracle. Baseball is an amazing game. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Jack of All Baseball, and I'll see you next time.